Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if I scare you a little bit. I know I'm a little too zoomed in, but I want to show you guys what is the reason why I wear so much makeup and also, you know, beyond the fact that I love wearing makeup. But I do have very, very textured skin. As you guys can see, I do have a lot, a lot of pores and also scars from my acne previously when I was younger. But today we do want to test this foundation out. I've been seeing it all over YouTube, so I was like, why not? So I went to my local Rite Aid and I purchased this shade. Hopefully it does match me because kid you not they only had three shades on the shelf So I was worried a little bit about that But hopefully it works out for me if you guys want to know how this foundation works on me, please come Please keep on watching All right, you guys, so this is how the foundation looks like hopefully you guys can see it But this one I think this a previously foundation that looks like this one But it has a little pink line down in the middle. I'm not quite sure Honestly, this is my first time uh, trying this one. Apparently, this is the second version of the other one. The other one says 24 hours and this one says 30 hours. So obviously, I'm not going to wear a foundation for 30 hours, but I do go to work and I do have to be at work for 8 hours. So I do want to test it out if it actually works with my skin. As you guys saw in the beginning, my skin is very, very textured. I do have very large pores and I tell you, I'll tell you honestly, I do clean my face every single day after wearing makeup but my skin maybe it's the way i eat who knows but yes you guys i do have very very textured skin so we're gonna go ahead and try this out hopefully it works out and you know maybe this is my to go and replaces my other one from l'oreal l'oreal however it's called so yeah you guys so we're gonna go ahead and open this up oh. so obviously the good thing about this foundation it does come with a pump as you guys know, any foundation that comes with the pump is actually very, very good because you don't have to keep opening the product. And most of the time when it doesn't have a pump, the product or foundation dries. So that's not a good thing. So that's a very good thing. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my sponge and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and got a brand new sponge so you guys can see how it actually works. I didn't wanna use my old one because it actually looks really dirty, but I think it's time to throw it away. So I threw it away. I don't know about you guys, but I honestly don't like to wash my sponges. I'd rather just throw them away. It will last me, what, like two or three weeks, and then I'll just buy a new one. So this is a brand new one from, I believe, Benefit Cosmetics or maybe another brand. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, so I already went and... um. Wet, wet my sponge so it's all you know soft and squishy and it's ready to go so we're gonna go ahead and put some on the sponge but I think today I'm just gonna put some in my hand just to be sure because as I told you guys this is very full coverage and I love full coverage um, foundation but not a lot so I put some in my wrist or my hand I guess you will say as you can see it's very very thick it's not liquid liquidy at all so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and grab the foundation we have some right here I already went ahead and primed my face so it's ready to go and you know ready to apply so we're gonna go ahead and apply some on the right side so like I said, I saw a lot of videos on this foundation being really, really good. So hopefully it works out. I got medium, medium tan beige or something like that. I always try to get the medium color because as you see, the rest of my body is actually lighter. But my face is really, really, for some reason, really, really dark. Um, well, I don't know about that, but I feel it's because when I was younger, I used to be in the sun all the time. And I never really wore um, sunscreen, so maybe that's why. So when I grab a little bit, maybe because the sponge is really, really wet, it's absorbing most of the foundation. That's a kind of wish I would have used my other sponge, but then I want to show the sponge on the camera because it's very, very dirty. All right, I do that. Oh wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh wow, I'm sorry because I was seeing from far off the mirror, but oh wow, I'm sorry, I mean, I've never tried this foundation before, it's very, wow, I don't know if you can see it, but wow, it's very, very nice, I've never used this foundation before, I, wow, <laughs> very surprised. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. 
Alright guys, so that is the end of the video. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to come back and film the ending part because I will be getting off work really, really late. But I do want to say that the foundation feels really, really nice on the skin. It's very light, even though it's very full coverage. But yes, you guys, if you guys haven't bought this foundation, go ahead and purchase it. It's on Rite Aid, CVS, or Target. And again, you guys, thank you as always. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the post notifications so you can get notifications when I upload another video. Again, you guys, thank you so, so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one.